Well, hello again. Uh, it's a 1998 Jeep Grand Cherokee uh, Laredo that uh, was having some stalling issues. Many videos on stalling issues. Anyway, picked it up at a good price. Going to try to work it out and uh, and get it repaired and get it sold. Anyway, so why are we here? This is uh, kind of a common problem with these vehicles. The uh, the rear hatch gets stuck shut. Uh, you can go up and uh, try to pull the latch to no avail. A uh, guy I got this from, there was a, you can see there's a hump in the bumper there and he convinced himself that the, uh, it wouldn't open because of that hump in the bumper, but uh, in fact, don't believe that's true. So how do you get to these things? And there's a couple of references on YouTube. Uh, the thing that concerned me about those was it seemed they tore up the covers inside cover of the back door trying to get down into the latch to release it and I didn't like that so I did a little research and I thought maybe I could get to it through this license plate area you see there I've got the hanging license plate lights um, according to the manual I thought there was a couple of screws behind that license plate we might be able to get to to, to pull this uh, this entire panel out uh, it doesn't seem to be the case as it turns out so we had to make another plan so what I did was let me release this all these shocks on these things the lift supports are pretty much toasted over the years get some more of those but uh, so what we did was uh, we came in here and there's a couple of screws let me show you where they are uh, there's there we go one here there's a matching one on the opposite side here and then if you look on down here, see if we can get this on camera. Yeah, it's not working so good. Let me turn this around. If you look down here, there's a hole. Yeah, it's not working out. Anyway, there's another hole here with a screw in it. Now what it doesn't do is it doesn't dislodge the door panel um, because there are some other screws that we have to that we have to deal with to get the entire panel loose but what I found was that by by taking those screws out if I pry down on this thing way down in there is a small thin metal rod got to be careful not to break it it's a small thin metal rod down there that you can't see but you can stick your arm down in there and find that rod and uh, pull it and get it open. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open it. We'll talk more and I'll show you that rod once I get the back panel completely off once the door is open. Okay, so we got it fully open now. Uh, again, the rods, the uh, hatch supports here are, are not much count, so uh, using the infamous stick to hold this thing up. So what we're going to do now is finish taking off this panel. There are actually two screws, one of which is already missing. Uh, there's one here uh, that should allow us to take this panel the rest of the way off and uh, then we can take a look at the support or excuse me the latch system and see what's causing us problems okay so there's a few more screws than I showed you uh, just look around the perimeter uh, you'll find the screws I didn't bother turning the camera back on to show them all to you uh, it's just a bunch of screws so anyway with my dogs so the panel's off. Be real careful. It is brittle. It is 16 years old. Uh, it's uh, most of the elastomers have gone out of the plastic, and so it's pretty brittle. So what have we got? Let me get back here and sit on the sit on the back hatch, and let's look at this at this latch. Here's the latch, and here's the uh, offending rod. Uh, basically, the rod is. Uh, not up high enough. Let's see if I can get there. We go. The rod needs to come up higher on this bracket so that whenever you lift the handle, you get more displacement. So we're going to uh, we're going to look at that and see what we can do about it. And I'll get back with you. Well, let's talk a little about the latch system. To make it close is actually fairly easy. Uh, right here, where the rod is pinched with this bracket, I simply pop this loose with a screwdriver, brought it down, pulled it up a little, snapped it back in place. Pretty straightforward. 
However, it doesn't seem to want to return very well. It's getting there. I've sprayed lubricant hither and yen, and it seems to be helping. Um, now, let's talk a little bit about how it works. Um, just for information, while you're messing with it, you'll know uh, when you lock the door, there's a small device back behind there. You can see the little white thing, and that rod. Uh, basically, that rod, when you lock it, slides this over. Once it slides over, this little black plastic tab, I'm not sure how visible we are here, but uh, this little black plastic tab basically is what the latch lifts, and it's not hitting this bar, then it's locked. Let me see if I can do that from in here. There we go. The little black tab is moving up and down, it's not hitting the bar. Then when you unlock, it slides over this way. And then when you lift the little bar, it lifts the latch. So we seem to be better now. I think we're pretty good. Initially, like I said, this thing didn't want to return. Um, but again, some silicone spray uh, seems to have made it uh, more cooperative. So I think we're in good shape. Let's give it a test. Okay, so the door's shut. It's kind of like a commitment now. And uh, we lift up on the latch. Door opens. We shut the door. And let's see. The door is shut. So that means it did return back down. And I think just the more we do that, the better it's going to be about returning back down. So we're going to put it back together and say that that little task is complete. I guess one note, uh, one thing I clearly missed here on the panel, you'll see where this little hole is here and then on this side this little tab with a hole apparently in this case we should have removed these screws which I didn't see which is fine with me I'm not going to worry about putting them back in um, I mean there you really have to go way down in there to get to them anyway and uh, there are several screws uh, here on the bottom one of which was missing, so I used one of those screws I recovered uh, and uh, just let that be our, uh, be our security for the bottom of the panel. And then of course we're going we're gonna to replace these little wonders. Now if you're working on Jeeps, uh, particularly what I'm familiar with, the Grand Cherokees, these things at the dealership cost you a couple of dollars a piece surprisingly. I think I got a package of 50 on Amazon for I don't know less than 10 bucks and uh, worked on a number of Jeeps so I just keep a store of them and so get you some of these if you've got a Jeep you'll be working on a Jeep and so I'll replace these there's one there missing uh, I think that's pretty much one there that's still there but I'll probably replace it because they tend to not go back in so good and then these yellow ones they're pretty torn up so anyway we'll get this back together I'm quite confident now to work so uh, we'll call this a close. Take care.